today we're going to go over the GY6 exhaust that we make. There's three different exhausts out there. There's a GY6A, the GY6B, and the GY6C. The B is a liquid cooled, often found in the CF Moto or GTRs of the world out there. Uh, they're not very common, but we do make a bracket and a, a setup for it. This, the, the two that, are, that get most confusion that a lot of dealers write us about are the A and the C. The A is a traditional GY6, uh, which we offer a little bracket here that's adaptable for the different GY6 versions. The C, however, which is the ITA Zingwei 150, comes with this little triangle piece. And that's your bracket. You use this for the EDA, you use this for the GY6. Now, headers, there's over three or four different headers that we can, uh, they're available, but for the ITA, you're gonna use part number N NMP02094, right there. Now that's different from the 6.2 and the 7.2, which are traditional GY6s. And let me show you the differences here. If we put two of them lined up, you're gonna see that this is the ITA. It's shorter, okay? It's bent a little bit different, and it's a little bit a little bit uh, longer on the on the traditional GY6 right here, the 6.2. So the 0294 is shorter and it's a different bend. So it's not the same as the regular GY6. Also, you gotta put it in with the exhaust. It's gonna slide right in. You gotta make sure that that is in there right because you don't want any exhaust coming, any back pressure coming out. So see, it's nice and snug. Once you install it on the ITA 150, it's gonna look like this and you're gonna be able to move the brackets around, the, the clamps, and you're gonna be able to move the triangle piece to adapt it to your ITA 150. There's several different brands out there. Some of them, you might have to cover the MRP logo. It's not a big deal. It's what you deal with the Chinese. The Chinese aren't standardized. So different manufacturers manufacture different brackets and different headers. So there's different ITA 150s out there. This is the best you're gonna be able to do with those non-generic, with those generic brands out there. But see, snug fit, it's not gonna fall out. And that's what you want with the ITA 150. You want a snug fit. Now, on a, if it's a private label brand, you might have to bend it a little to get it in there, but what's in it? It's in there, it's good. That's for the 150. Now I want to show you something else to show you the difference between a, a, a GY6C and a GY6A. Is that when you put the, the, when you connect it to the cylinder, in no way is, an, is a GY6C going to work on a GY6A. The headers are completely different. And you can tell because look at the angle right there, okay? If they're both lined up straight, if, if we try to line them up straight, they would they would line up completely differently. And that's where you see the bend. So they're manufactured according to the brand. So don't be confused. There's different brands out there. A United Motors uses a totally different header piece than an ITA 150. Um, so just tell your dealership, or if you're a dealer, Make sure that you order the correct header piece from us if you're installing this in a non-generic brand or some private label brand. There's over 60 brands out there. A lot of them have no names. Um, just contact us at MRP if you're having a problem with your, with your headers or exhaust, right? Have a great day.